Hi all, in this video we'll see how from Blue Prism portal we can create a virtual machine in Microsoft Azure for trial purpose. Recently Blue Prism has started a very nice initiative where if you cannot, uh, if you do not want to download and install Blue Prism in your desktop and you just want to use a cloud version then you can do it. So for that you need to go to the digital exchange from the Blue Prism portal. and then you have to go to the trial now in the trial if you can see you get three options trial and buy so since uh, we will be trying the cloud version so we'll try the first option which is try and uh, it says that yeah requirement uh, you should be having a free cloud account uh, sorry which uh, you are you get started free you should be having a cloud account so that is a prerequisite for this okay and uh, minimum you would need 10 gb free disk space uh, windows 8.1 or 10 so the virtual machine which you will configure should have min minimum this configuration so we'll basically just, uh, click on this button free from here it will navigate us to this page and uh, oh, these other options are coming soon means right now the support is only for microsoft azure support for aws ibm cloud and google cloud they are coming soon so we'll click on this get it free now button okay so then again we'll click on this one get it now okay so on clicking this we'll then get this screen it will give us single virtual machine trial image and we'll click on continue now i will click on create okay so here basically we'll create a virtual machine uh, my subscription you can select any subscription right now i have a free trial subscription then we can either select an existing resource group or you can create a new resource group if you want to click create a new resource group you can just click on new and you can give any name like trial bp vm creation then uh, you have to give a virtual machine name i will give trial vm then region you can select anything image uh, you will select the default option is Blue Prism trial only, so we'll keep this option. And now the your size of the virtual machine. By default, it is selected as standard B2MS. We'll keep this one only. But if you want to change size, which will actually determine your cost, you can select it from here. So it will give you different options for and here it will show you the price so you can just choose whatever suits your requirement i will go with the default selected option then you have to give a username so i can give anything to set the password and it should follow the password policy I have to set the password then confirm password I will go I will click on next uh, it will ask me to select disk option by default it is premium ssd 
if you want to understand what that what are different types of disks are available you can click on this button so it will take you to a new tab and then you can see different disk options it is uh, so we'll select the default option only that is premium ssd and then encryption type you can select we'll select the default option and if you want to attach any other disk then you can use this option but we'll go with the default thing with that is no no disk or maybe the default disk now it will uh, the next option is networking so by default our defo uh, this virtual network is created with the some subnet and then public ip is created with the name as trial vm ip so these are default names which are which will be created will not do any changes with them and will then go click on management and uh, here also will not do any changes will keep the default options we can anytime we can explore these options whether we want to select it or not but uh, for this thing uh, i am not going to change anything then advance again i'm not going to change anything you can anytime explore these options tags i'm not giving anything then review and create so i'm basically following the most uh, simple way to create without any much changes so it has passed the validation and here it is showing me the price per hour that is our next option is we'll go for creation it will take some time Our deployment is in progress. Okay, so deployment is complete. And now we can click on this button to go to the resource. It will open the configuration of the trial VM which we have just created and it will show you different properties of that. If you see the overview, this is the resource group which is containing which will contain all the different uh, resources which are created like virtual machine, your subnet, your public IP, your VNet etc. And uh, and this is your public IP address. This this uh, will show there's a graphical representation of the performance of your virtual machine. So if you want to connect to this, uh, you have to click on this connect button. And then it gives you three option RDP, SSH and Bastion. So I will select this RDP option. For that I will click on download RDP file. So it is around 85 byte uh, file. It is downloaded in the system. I will just click on that. Okay, so this uh, now I'm I am going to connect to this machine. This is a remote desktop connection and this screen will come, will come showing that we are going to connect to this particular remote computer. I will click on. I will click on yes.
you can see that blue prism is already installed in this along with certain other folders one folder is for certification there are certain documents inside this and other one is for labs 